right, welcome back to the Recon NG version 5 series. Uh, in this video, we're going to be talking about reports, how to generate them uh, in various formats. Um, so let's get started. So again, uh, as I mentioned in the first video and in the second one, uh, by default, we don't have any modules pre-installed. That includes uh, reporting modules. So we have to head over to our marketplace and we, we need to search for a reporting module. So I'll just hit search report. All right, so we have uh, the reporting modules right over here. So we can, uh, you can see that uh, you can pretty much generate reports in various formats. Uh, the popular ones are going to be re uh, CSV, HTML, uh, lists maybe, uh, and also X XML to a certain extent. Um, let's get started with CSV. Um, so what I'll do is I'll just copy this and I'll say uh, marketplace install and we'll install the HTML one as well. You can check out the various other ones that you want to use. I'll be covering uh, CSV and HTML as they are the, the most popular and the most effective in regards to generating uh, reports. Uh, sorry, uh, install and we want to install the reporting HTML module here. All right, so we'll say modules uh, load and we'll say reporting. We are going to start off with CSV first. Uh, and we're going to hit enter. Let's hit info. This gives us information about uh, what this module will do. So you can see it creates a CSV file containing specific harvested data. So it'll give you the file name. So you can specify the location as to where you want to store it. By default, um, it will store it uh, in the uh, the recon ng directory in your home directory under results.csv. So you can change that. Uh, and also you specify the headers, whether you want headers uh, you want it to include the column headers uh, and then you specify the table that you want to uh, that you want to output in our case uh, what we can do is um, uh, what we can do is actually um, let's take a look at some of the data we have here um, so we can get some oops a show um, I believe we have uh, what data did I want to display here uh, yeah we want to display ports uh, sorry uh, so show ports. Uh, so this is the table that I, I want to output. So typically when we say we don't want the headers, it's going to exclude the headers here, which you you can or you can you can ignore. But in any case, it's a CSV file. So uh, again, we'll just say uh, modules uh, load and we'll say reporting CSV hit enter info and we will set uh, the file name. So we say options um, set. Uh, sorry, uh, we want to set the file name here. Um, the file name will be home, uh, Lexis desktop, uh, and uh, we're just going to call it, uh, results.csv. We'll just call it results.csv similar to what it uh, gave us anyway. Okay. Uh, next, uh, we can specify the table. So we're going to say options, uh, set, and we're going to say table, uh, the table is going to be equal to ports, I believe. Was it ports? Yeah, I just want to get the table name correct so I don't make any mistakes. So yeah, there's ports. We're going to hit enter and we're going to ignore the headers. Uh, but if you wanted to, you'd simply set it to true and we're going to hit run. And you can see 55 records were added to results.csv on our desktop. So we can actually access this. All right, so as you can see, our results are stored in a CSV file and we can open it up with LibreOffice Calc which is a spreadsheet uh, spreadsheet software open source, uh, but you can check it out. It's uh, really cool for those of you who don't use Linux. Um, okay, there we are. So you can see it gives us the data uh, and you can see in a CSV file, it, it might be wise to actually, um, to actually include the headers here. So you can do that as well. And uh, uh, yeah, that's how to output it in CSV. So we can keep that file as well. So we'll go back into our terminal and uh, let's go back here. And we're going to say modules uh, load and we're going to say uh, reporting and we're looking for HTML, which is my uh, one of the my, my favorite way of generating reports. So I'll just clear this out. And um, if we show the info here, you can see that uh, we have the creator, the customer, so we can generate, uh, you know, really extensive report for customers and we can give it our, our signature and we can also sanitize uh, data if we want to that's very important so again we'll uh, I think for for this particular case we'll just leave it within the the recon ng uh, directory so let, let's start setting the options here um, so we will say 
uh, we'll say set creator. So the creator name will be in the uh, will be in the footer, and the custom name will be in the header, right? So we would say, uh, for example, so we say options set uh, creator, and I'll just say mm, Alexis here. Uh, we'll just say options set customer. And let's say BBC was getting one, or actually that might cause a bit of trouble. So we'll just ignore that and we'll just say uh, random, random limited. Just hit enter and um, the file name again you specify, we've specified that directory and we will sanitize this and we'll then hit run. And you can see the report is generated in the directory we had specified, which is the default uh, recon ng directory. Um, we have uh, well, actually view, uh, we want to show hidden files here. Uh, recon ng, it's stored under workspaces, um, uh, the default workspace, and uh, this is the, uh, the results.html file here. We want to open this up with Firefox, and uh, for some reason it's telling us it can't find the file. Um, so one second here, let's just, if we check the output in Pluma, we can see we do have data in it. So um, just close without saving. And let me just uh, cut it onto our desktop here. And uh, let me open up, uh, let me open this up with, uh, with, uh, with Firefox. So there we are, you can see that uh, this typically gives us an extensive report. So it gives us a summary. It then gives us all the various tables that had data in them, which is great. So you can see random limited. This is a recon ng reconnaissance report uh, created by Lexis. It has a, a timestamp. So the summary says we have domain zero ports, hosts. We have quite a few. So let's take a look at the hosts here. We have the hosts, the host, IP address, region, country, latitude, longitude, the module that was used. Um, let me just zoom in here. Uh, we have the contacts, uh, so we have a Lexis uh, that was added, and this is all going to be done alphabetically, which is great as well. And then, of course, the ports, which was, uh, which was, uh, which was, the, which essentially gives us the output that was given to us by Shodan. And there you are. So that is how to generate reports and multiple types of reports with various formats with Recon NG. And that concludes the end of this update series, uh, you know, in regards to the entire Recon NG series on the channel. You can check out the version 4, Recon NG version 4 series that we covered. It pretty much has the same information, but, uh, you know, for, for the older version. So if you are opting to use the older version, by all means, watch that series. But hopefully this, this series covers everything that you guys wanted to know regarding Recon NG version 5. Uh, any additional videos to the Recon NG playlist will be an addendum to the to version 5. So if you have any suggestions or questions, let me know and uh, I'll make a video answering those questions uh, or regarding um, a particular issue. So I'll be seeing you in the next video.